hello guys and welcome back hope you all are doing great so in this video we are going to see how we can detect a swipe in our device so without any further delay let's get started so as you can see here we have a simple project so this is a 2d project uh, if you want you can download the project the link will be in the description i have a player which has a player controller on it uh, which moves our player from one position to the target position where we do our uh, swipe so right now if you go into player controller it is a very simple script it just uh, this is a move method uh, i do a recast in the direction we want to move check for the collider get the distance and check if the difference between the point our recast has hit and our transform position is greater than our distance between wall so this is the distance uh, we keep tracking between wall and then we if it is greater then we set the target and then we move our player to that target position so now we want our direction so for that we need to create a new script uh, so let's right click on scripts folder create a new c sharp script and let's call it input manager so let's create an empty game object and we'll rename it to input manager and let's drag our script on it now open the script in mono behavior okay so to detect our swipe so whether it's in left right or any direction we need two vectors the starting vector and the end vector so for that we will create a new variables private vector 3 start pose comma end pose we also need a small threshold so that we can confirm that this is a swipe so for that we will create a private float threshold which will be equal to 0.1f and we will make it a serialize so that we can edit it from the inspector now at start we will set our start pose is equal to end pose it should be start okay now we need to get our start and end pose so first we will do with the mouse and then we will do the same thing with the touch so we will create a void mouse input so first we will check if our input dot get mouse button 0 is pressed so here we are checking if we have pressed our mouse button then we will again check if input dot get mouse down so get mouse down will be called only once once we have placed the mouse button and here we will store our start position so our start position will be equal to input dot mouse position and here we will set our end position also end position is equal to input dot mouse position so as you can see here our input dot get mouse button down will be called only once when we press our mouse button so this thing will be set only once now this thing input dot get mouse button will be called for every frame uh, when we have pressed our mouse so this will be set for every frame we have both uh, start position end position now we have to get our if input dot get mouse button up now here uh, we have to detect whether it is a swipe or not so to detect a swipe or not we will just create a new method we will call it vector 3 uh, decide direction so we are going to return a vector 3 here so vector 3 direction is equal to vector 3 dot 0 
and we are going to return direction okay. now first we have to check uh, whether the swipe is on x axis or on y axis so for that uh, we can check the difference between the x values and y values so mathf dot absolute value end pose dot x minus start pose dot x and if it is greater than let's copy this and instead of x we will write y so let's say our difference between the x values of our positions is greater than y values of our position then we have swipe on our x axis now uh, once we have decided whether it is uh, on x axis or y axis we have to check if our difference is greater than our threshold so if our uh, math uh, dot absolute value end position x minus start position dot x difference is greater than threshold then we will make uh, then we can confirm that it is a swipe and the reason we are using math dot absolute value is because uh, this difference can be positive or negative and for us to check whether it is on which axis uh, we need to make it absolute value so that we can see the difference and and for our threshold also we need to make it an absolute value so that we can remove the negative sign and just have the pure value now to detect the direction of swipe we will check if our end pose dot x is greater than start pose dot x so if our end position is greater than start position that means uh, we have swipe to the right side so here we will set our direction is equal to vector 3 dot right else we will set it to left now same thing uh, for our y we'll just copy this and here we will set else instead of x we will have y and our if our end position y value is greater than our start y value then our direction will be up and else it will be down uh, let's make it more precise let's set it here less than we don't want our uh, condition of uh, this end post dot y equal to start post dot y also consider that uh, our direction will be down so here also we will add this more extra thing okay and we can just copy this also and paste it here and less than okay fine now we have our decide direction method which will tell us whether uh, what is our direction now here uh, back to our mouse input when we we leave our mouse or when we get our input dot get mouse button up is true we'll check our direction so we'll just first check decide direction is not equal to vector 3 dot 0 so if our vector 3 is not 0 then we will send our direction to our player so for that we need our reference to the player so let's create a reference so private player controller player controller let's make it serialized so that we can drag it from the editor now in player controller we have the method called move position sorry move player uh, which take a parameter called direction which is a vector 3 and depending on this direction it do all its movement here we will just write player controller dot move player and we will send the direction so we will just copy this desired direction and we will send it to it and let's call this move input in update and let's go back to our editor and let's see so click on input manager and let's drag our player controller to it 
and let's click on play okay so as you can see it detects the swipe and it is moving our player so let's let me change the threshold to one let's see okay, maybe 10 even for 10 it is able to take it okay let's make it max okay now if i set to let's say 80 so if i just drag little it won't move but if i drag uh, more then it can move so this way you can decide the threshold uh, for your game now so let's go back to our script so right now we have uh, our mouse input swipe but we want our touch also to work so that we can use it on our devices too so for that we will create a new method called void touch input now in touch input first have to check how many touches we have so we'll check if input dot touch count is greater than zero then we want our first touch so we will create a touch uh, variable and we will store our input dot get touch zero now here we will check if touch dot phase is equal to touch phase dot begin so our phase is going to begin then we can set our start position so our start position will be touch dot position if our touch dot phase is equal to touch phase dot move so if we have moved our finger on our device then we will set our end position so our end pose will be equal to our touch position and the last will be if our touch dot phase is equal to touch phase dot ended that means we have uh, completed our touch then we will decide our direction and send it to our player so copy this paste it here and that's it so this is the input uh, touch input which will work on our device so right now we will just uh, do some conditions here so if if it is uh, unity editor then we will use mouse input hashtag else if it is uh, unity android or unity ios we will use our touch input and we will just hashtag and if okay so now we have our swipe control uh, which will be working for both uh, devices and for pcs so this is how you create a simple touch control for your game uh, if you want a complete project then you can go to my github link uh, the link will be in the description you can download it from there so thank you guys for watching i hope you learned something new and enjoyed the video uh, so i will see you in the next video so till then thank you and have a nice day